All right, coaches, I can't wait to show you this play here because it's a new take on speed option that I haven't seen quite honestly ever before. Previously, when you get speed option, you would just have your quarterback would just take the take the snap and attack the perimeter and force um, either the force player or um, maybe a defensive end in here to either decide right now. But what Coastal Carolina does is right on the snap, Look at this, he's opening, so they're starting off here, and he's opening up in um, what looks like is going to be either um, a midline option um, right up the middle, okay? Because you can see, if you take a look at the tackle here, he goes to backer, um, sorry, guard goes to backer, tackle, arcs out to the force player, leaving this defender completely unblocked, and we've got a double to the backside backer right here. All right, so it looks like right now he's either going to give it and the quarterback's going to run or and the running back's going to run inside based on his reaction or he's going to pull it and carry it on out here. All right, so now unfortunately what happens for this guy is he dives down inside to take away that dive by the running back um, is the quarterback all of a sudden starts attacking outside. Now he's at a bit of a disadvantage because he's no longer um, able to really um, extend this play out. He's got to take the quarterback right now as his only option. There's no way he can get back out here. No way he can feather it out here. All right, quarterback attacks downhill very nicely, forcing that defender to, to uh, take him. And then he makes a pitch. And now you've got the ball in a great situation. All right, remember that arc tackle that arced out on the force defender? Now the running back can read his block, which clearly um, force defender is doing what he's supposed to do, sort of. All right, he's supposed to force this running back to cut it inside. Problem is, he forces him to cut it inside, but he's way too far outside and way too far upfield. So we've got a nice lane right there for an easy touchdown. So... Now, what happened to all these defenders down here? What happened to these two guys? Well, they're in the red zone right here. And in the red zone, most teams' will, defenses are going to call man coverage, which they do here, um, because you don't have to guard your man as deep anymore. There's no real threat of getting beat deep. You just have to stay with them within these yards. And it also gives you extra defenders in the box. So they just have to run off their um, defenders. You can see he runs a corner route. And number one runs kind of like a hitch out there and that leaves you a lot of room now let's look at one other key block that I love right here remember that guard that went up to the linebacker watch his block right here watch how he escapes clean and then gets on his outside shoulder and turns his hips and his butt outside locking him inside now he's in perfect position this is a fantastic block by here by this guard and I would give him a ton of um, a ton of points, thumbs up, whatever you want to reward your players with. Um, he gets a touchdown block on this one, which is a big deal if you're a lineman because if that block does not happen right there, no touchdown. This guy right here, he gets a touchdown block. So you got two linemen getting touchdown blocks and the running back running in free. Um, this is, again, is Coastal Carolina. And, again, with this you know fake, this midline fake right there, just kind of a stutter step, is something new that teams have to account for. What you see first is not always going to happen. And um, clearly, uh, there wasn't much they could do about it once he uh, went on in the speed option and pitched it out to their um, stud running back for a touchdown. All right, coaches, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this. Fans as well, um, please hit the like and subscribe. I'm gonna give a shout out to my students at Joseph Sears School who are watching this also. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, the fifth grade classes at Joseph Sears School, thanks for watching. And all the other classes that are watching too, I know I get comments on the blacktop or wherever from all my other kids. So thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed it.